Okay. Ditch Sword David Hay. I made a prediction earlier on about the fight, and I'm not changing that decision. But I just want there's a few other things I'd like to throw into the equation for play people to think about because I know people are going to put their bets down for this fight. And there's a few things I want you to think about. And there's when I approach Adam Booth, I asked Adam Booth one question. I said Adam, or not even I, I not even asked him. I, I said to him, David looks like he's going to come in about 15, 15 and a half stone. Adam turned around to me, said to me, "Oh, um, you're a, um, you must be medium or something. How can you predict he's going to come in with 15, 15 and a half stone?" And he looked between 15 and 15 and a half stone. And what do we get? David's weighing 15 stone, 15 stone, two pound. So, you know, and I asked Adam straight up in the video, if you see the interview, I asked him, Adam, who has David been sparring? Up to this day, nobody knows who David Hayes been sparring with. I mean, if you're so confident in, in what you're going to do, you talk about who you did your sparring session with. What's the big secret? Or is it the fact that something went wrong in sparring? Derek's made it quite clear who he sparred with, and the guys he sparred with have all been undefeated, all unbeaten. Sparred with Joe uh, Nathan Cleverly, he sparred with Joe Hanks, he sparred with um, Chris Keane. Now, if you look at, I don't know if anybody knows about Chris Keane, look at where Chris Keane fights. Chris Keane fights very similar to David Hay. Now, warning anybody who thinks that Derek Chisora will not catch David Hay has got another thing coming. Believe me. They've got another thing coming. I actually believe Derek takes the shots that David throws, right? I believe David, David, Derek backs David up, gets him against the ropes, and makes it very uncomfortable in there, and goes in there and beats up David Hay. I can see it happening. I really can see it happening. Having seen the way he was, he was training with Chris Keane, okay? And Keane is like, he moves as good as David Hay. I would suggest people to watch how Chris Keane fights. When I started talking to um, Booth about, you know, Joe Hanks, I spoke to him about Nathan Cleverly. Nathan Cleverly's got a nice fast output of punches. You know, um, Nathan Cleverly's pretty quick, he's fast. Yeah, he may not punch as hard as David, but he's got a better output than David has. I think he's got a better variety of punches than David has. Okay. Um, this is not me bigging up Dave, Derek Chisora. This is what is. This is what has happened. Okay, and in terms of physical strength, this is another thing. There is no way, there's no way that David Hay is going to be pushing Derek Chisora around the ring. Can't see it happening. Sorry, can't see it happening. I see Derek pushing, getting forward, and you think Derek's just going to stand and get hit on the chin. Derek's going to be moving his head, bobbing and weaving, and getting inside. David says he is used to fighting people like this, and he and people say he's got a perfect style. Based on what? Based on what has he got a perfect style against him? Are you going to base it on the John Ruiz fight? John Ruiz, no head movement, flat footed. And if you look at the fight, John Ruiz got caught square. I think I mentioned these points before. The one fight I want people to look back at is the Fragamini fight. Fragamini was giving David a lot of problems before the eighth round, which where David um, caught him. But before then, Fragamini was giving David a lot of problems. A lot of problems. Um, I said I've seen David spar, um, Derek spar against okay this guy Chris Keane who spars very similar to David Hay, and there are problems there. There were no problems whatsoever. They, Derek was able to stand in front of him and trade with him. Okay. Now the other thing I want you to consider as well, David Hay's been out of the ring a year. David Hay's not Sugar Ray Leonard. People are not considering ring rust, timing, speed, speed and timing. This is very important. David's, Derek's been far more active as a heavyweight. Um, and it's something that I think people need to consider. A fast pace. Who's that going to suit more? Derek or David? Look at their careers. You look at their fight patterns. David, off the back foot, counter punches. David throws two or three, punch at a two or three punches he'll throw and there's pot shots. Okay? He'll stop, he'll look, he'll move, he'll pause. He'll throw shots. Remember, David needs space. David needs space to throw his punches. Now, when I spoke to John Rawling and Colin Hart, they both believe that Derek Chisora is going to be on the toes of David Hay. Now, if you can find me fights where David Hay is knocking guys out with somebody who's right up on him, who's got good head movement, 
and keeping David off balance. You tell me who that guy is. Don't and 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 people keep telling you about. Well, you know, uh, how's David? How how how's uh, Derek gonna react when David hits him on the chin? How's David gonna ha hit, react when Derek hits him on the chin? You don't need to be a big puncher to drop him. All right, you don't need to be a big puncher to drop um, David Hay. David has no form of defense either. Now, you, you back him to ropes carefully. Watch him with a good jab. Watch what he does. David doesn't hold either. He doesn't fight on the inside. And if David decides to try and fight against Derek Chisora, there's trouble. So And David needs a... For me, if David showed me he had a very good jab, I mean, I saw him on the pads throwing jabs here, there and everywhere. Um, but I, I can't see it, sorry. I can't see it. I can see Derek Chisora walking him down, applying pressure and stopping him. Sorry. Um, it just depends on what the referee is like. I can't see David win this fight. I'm sorry. Uh, David does talk a lot. He talks a hell of a lot. And it, for some reason, David talks so much that people are convinced by what he says. But David does the same things over and over again. And I'm convinced. I asked Adam Booth, would David jump on on, uh, on Derek and come straight out at him? And Adam Booth said, didn't say anything. He smiled at me. Just smiled at me. Now for me, as far as I'm concerned, we're going to see the same old David Hay. Why is he going to do anything different? If it's Derek Chazor, why is he going to do anything different? And David, let me ask you one question. You keep talking about Derek Chazor is fat, Derek Chazor is overweight, Derek Chazor is this, he's a free, t he, he's a free, um, he's lost at British level, he's lost at European level, he's lost at world level. Well, let me, the facts are, He's won a British title. You've never won a British title as a heavyweight. He's won a European title. You've never fought, won a, a European title at, in the heavyweight division. And he fought for the world title. Well, you both fought for the world title. But um, Derek showed the desire to want to win a fight. And try to take the fight to Klitschko. And you decide to get on your back foot and run. And when plan A didn't work, which was to throw a big haymaker. And that didn't work. What did you do after that? What was the game plan after that? And what will be your game plan when you hit Derek Chisora and he's standing and he keeps coming forward and he keeps coming forward and he keeps throwing punches? We don't know what your, engine, what your engine's like, David, at heavyweight. We really don't because you've not been pushed. This fight, you'll get pushed. And if it's a fight to fight a quick pace, you should fight Derek. I think this, this fight suits Derek Chisora far much more than David Hay. But the ring size, ring will be very important. A small ring will make it very interesting. Very interesting. There is one punch, however, one punch that I think they're banking on for this fight. I don't think it's the right hand as such, or the left hook. I think the punch we need to look out for is the uppercut from David Hay. I think you're going to see David Hay backing up and throwing lots of uppercuts in this fight. But if you're throwing uppercuts, there's a vulnerability of you getting caught over the top. So um, just for some things for some guys to think about, let me know what you think. Uh, look, you think, oh, you're just a Chisora fan. Like I said in vi videos before, I just think for this fight, I'm going to back the guy who um, rises to the occasion. And the guy that's going to fight, you know, the guy's got a better chin. The guy who's proven as a heavyweight. David's still got too many questions to be answered as a heavyweight for me. And I've called this fight style versus substance. I think David's got a lot of style. But I think Shaw's got a lot of substance. Um, but we'll see. This time, tomorrow night, we'll have the answers. We'll know. Okay? And by the way, a final little comment. If you get a chance... And you look up Beyond the Ropes, uh, episode 3, you'll see me making some little cameo appearances there. I'm the guy wearing the grey suit um, in there at Derek's gym. And you'll also see me wearing a Lonsdale top with a camera in my hand. And some of those shots, as you'll see, uh, the camera shots you'll see on the videos. So check it out. Let me know if you do spot me. And... Uh,
It's on, man. Tomorrow night, it's on. See you guys later. Bye-bye.